I wonder if he understand the meaning of innocence or not. Innocence is a quality which is innate, which is which cannot be forced, which cannot be trained into. It's just a quality, innate quality within a human being. Maybe you say that innocent persons are attacked by the cunning, by the aggressive. But innocence is such a great thing that it cannot be destroyed. It is the quality of the spirit. Innocence is the quality of the spirit. <coughs> and when the spirit within you is awakened, you get the power of innocence by which you overcome all that is negative, all that is wrong, all that is detrimental to your growth, spiritual understanding. So to be innocent is not possible. You have to be innocent in the sense that you are innately innocent. This happens after Sahaja Yoga, after realization. Now if you say, we can develop innocence, Mother, you cannot. Which is the way to become innocent? In Sahaja Yoga, we have a proper method how we can become innocent. It happens through our thoughtless awareness. If you are in the state of thoughtless awareness, then what happens? You do not react, you do not get involved into wrong things. You do not get involved into any discussions, arguments, but you just watch and the innocence within you rises beautifully like a lotus, rises out of a dirty pot. So whatever may be the circumstances, when you are in thoughtless awareness, you do not react. That is the sign of innocence. And people who do not react keep young. They will never show their age, they keep young. Because to react is not a very good thing, which makes you get involved into another person. But if you don't react, if you are just watching, or you are a witness, then you don't get involved into anything, you are away from it. And that's how your innocence grows and you get very confident. I've read a story about a Chinese uh, king who went uh, to a saint and asked him that he wants uh, some boon from him. So what? He said, uh, I want my son to be developed into a person who can face all kinds of people. Whatever people may do, he should be able to face them. He said, all right, you leave your son with me. So when the argument started, when the fighting started, his son was just standing straight, watching everything in thoughtless awareness. So everybody from the arena went back. They all went away and they couldn't stand the innocence of this boy who was very young. And the king was surprised how his son could face all of them, all their arguments, all their aggression and all kinds of uh, horrible things they said to you. If anybody says anything to you, you should just be innocent. At that time, your power of innocence will show that this person who is trying to dominate you, to trouble you, is very much in the wrong. And the person himself might realize that I'm doing all these things, and this fellow, the one on whom I am trying to uh, dominate, 
is not taking any note of it. So he feels uh, very weak. He thinks he has no power to dominate a person. So this is, we have now, as Sahaja Yogi, we can get into thoughtless awareness. Try to reduce your reactions, reaction to anything. People have such funny ideas about themselves that they react. Now, for example, somebody showed me those carpets, I started watching, I was very happy, and they told me all the Sahajoginis have made this with their hands so beautifully. It was really so joyful to know that they have done it. But if I was a very normal person, I would have said, Oh my God, what a color, what a thing, and you know, like that. So whatever they have done, I can't even enjoy that. One thing is the enjoyment is lost. For a child, enjoyment is complete. Whatever it sees, says, he makes a joy. Joyful thing out of it. You look at children. I've seen children, they find anything, they make a toy out of it. The other day we had gone to Genoa and I saw there were big blockheads kept there. Some children came from somewhere, they just climbed on that and made horses out of them and were enjoying them. You see, they find anything, any space, they make a joyful thing for them, a play for them. For them, life is also a play, just a, a thing of enjoyment and they make you also enjoy everything. If you are not in a good mood, they will come and behave in such a manner that you will have to come round and become a very uh, simple, natural person. So to see a simple, natural person, we always say, they are like children, means they do not understand the cunning, they do not understand the stupidity of the people and they live in their own world of innocence. In the same way, all the Sahaja Yogis have to develop that aura around them. Let people see you, how innocent you are, how sweet you are. No arguments, no quarreling, no fighting is needed. It is just the inner satisfaction of thoughtless awareness. Many people say, Mother, we cannot become thoughtless. Why? Why can't you become thoughtless? Because all the time, whatever you see, you want to react. If you gradually start stopping reaction, introspect yourself, see for yourself. If you are all the time trying to react, tell your mind to behave itself. If there's any reaction, you just don't say anything, keep quiet. Gradually you'll be amazed and surprised how you become thoughtlessly aware, how beautiful you become and everybody who sees you will know that you are something different, you are not like the normal person. But the normal reaction of human beings is that if there's a quarrel going on, say, on the street, everybody will join in the quarrel. They like to fight, they want to be part and parcel of that quarrel or fight or whatever it is. They don't want to get out of it. At that time, if you just have your innocence, that will act. I told you, innocence is the spirit, the spirit is the innocence which cannot be destroyed by it. The fact is that it cannot be destroyed by anything and it can be re-established through surgery. You might have been a very aggressive person, you might have been a very unhappy person, you might have been a person who is all the time disturbing others, maybe. But after surgery, you can make your personality so sweet and beautiful that not only you can enjoy, but others can also enjoy. This innocence is something which is absolute, honest intelligence. It is not that it works uh, for the 
purpose, some purpose. But it's purposeless. It's absolutely purposeless. And thus it achieves that height of joy because there is no purpose in anything. It sees the futility of all kinds of endeavors that we have. <laughs> it just enjoys. Why people are running up and down? Why are they fighting? Just stands up and sees that why should they do it like that? Some may think they are all right, there's nothing wrong with them, but it's not so. Innocence is something I told you is an innate quality. And you should not deceive yourself by thinking you are innocent. On the contrary, you just put some introspection upon yourself and see for yourself what have you been doing so far, as far as other circles. What is your attitude? I have already talked to you about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the expression of innocence. Children who are gifted with this will always try to please you. They know what you want, what you need. They will give you all the joy that you want. They do all the things that you like, just to please you. They don't have their own wants. They don't want to have their own demands. They never say, I want this, you do for me, never. They just want to see what you want, what do you want to have. And they put, pull, put all the effort to supply you with that, whatever you want. It's very interesting how the children behave towards others, elders, just like I would say uh, a great understanding, you should say, like a very elderly personality. So in innocence you become extremely grown-up, matured, very matured. With that maturity you know what this person needs and what the other person should not have. And the way they establish is very interesting. Children are the most interesting things, I think, in the world. For me, roses are very beautiful, but children are the most interesting thing and they teach you so many things that you are surprised at their innocence. So many jokes are there about the children, how they behave, how they talk, and they are so innocent that they will tell everything to everyone. They have no uh, way of hiding anything. It's very difficult. I know one joke. When a, a gentleman came to the house for dinner, so the child was looking at him very intensely. And then he said, Mother, he doesn't like, eat like a horse, as you told me. So everybody was shocked. He doesn't eat like a horse. Mother must have told him he eats like a horse. So he looked at him, he doesn't eat like a horse. See, they are so innocent, sometimes <laughs> they say things by which you can get exposed completely. There are so many jokes about it and if you write some books, writing the jokes of children, I tell you, people will just enjoy it. Because those so innocently they say things which are nothing but the truth and they cannot tell lies. They are so truthful, that's the quality of innocence. They never tell lies. You did this? Yes, I did. You, you didn't do this? No, I didn't do They never tell lies. It's we, the grown-ups, teach them to how to tell lies, how to be uh, cheating. Then we teach also our children another bad thing, that is, you must possess everything, especially in the West, is a thing they do. They tell the child that this is yours, you should not give it to anyone, this is your own. On the contrary, we should tell them, you can do what you like, leave it to their innocence. You'll be amazed, they'll give away everything that they have. In such a beautiful manner they'll behave, that you'll be amazed how they try to please everyone and try to do something to entertain. All their capacity of this is so great that sometimes one wonders how these little things have developed these capacities. You might have read many books, 
you might have got lots of degrees, you might be something great, but you are not a childlike. You have to be a childlike person. Otherwise, no one likes your company. We call them bores. But actually boring comes with the people who have no innocence in their heart. They are trying to tell you, you must do this, if you want to be successful, you do that. All these lectures are useless for children. In the same way, it should be within your own understanding. That is all nonsense, they are talking. As the children don't care for what you suggest to them, to be nasty, to be horrid, in the same way, if you are innocent, you will not accept. You may listen to anything. They, let them tell you anything they want to. Doesn't matter. You will never do that because you cannot, because you are innocent. And the innocent will guard you, it will give you proper guidance what is to be done, what is not to be done. Now try to introspect and see for yourself, are you innocent or not? People think that somebody is trying to overpower, is trying to harm, is trying to put you down. Nobody can put down innocence. Innocence is a quality that survives all kinds of nonsense. And not only that, but age, your health, your mind, your thinking, and your emotions are extremely innocent and you enjoy yourself. Nowadays there's a big um, wave of shamelessness sometimes. Uh. The people I've seen, they have no lajja. I don't know, some men want to attract women and some women want to attract men. Children never do like that. They don't know what is this to attract men or to attract women or attract anyone. They'll try to please the dog, they'll try to please a horse, but they never have seen uh, going all out to attract someone. The reason is this, that their self-esteem is complete. They know about themselves fully. So why should they do all this nonsense of running after women, running after men and creating problems for themselves? Their self-esteem is complete. In a sense, it's like that. It gives you a complete self-esteem. You don't bow to anyone, nor you make anybody else to bow. This is the beauty of innocence, which works out so well within you. <coughs>